We're now in chapter 12, which is all about two-dimensional geometry. And we're going to sort two-dimensional shapes using sorting rules. This is the last chapter of Grade 1 Math. A rectangle has four vertices. Those are corners. If you look at this rectangle, you'll see the four corners. Those are vertices. A square has four vertices. One, two, three, four. It's a special kind of rectangle. And a triangle has three vertices. One, two, three. When there's just one of them, it's called a vertex. But when there's more than one, we call them vertices. That's plural. It's more than one. And I want you to remember, we've learned about this before, two-dimensional shapes have two dimensions. Length is a dimension and width is a dimension. One, two, two dimensions. Three-dimensional shapes have three dimensions. One, two, three. Length, width, and height. We can sort two-dimensional shapes into groups. A sorting rule is a rule that tells us how to sort objects. It tells us which group it belongs in. Read the sorting rule. Circle the shapes that follow the rule. So the sorting rule is shapes with three sides. We have a square, a triangle, a circle, another triangle, and a rectangle. Well, square has four sides. One, two, three, four. So it's not the square. The triangle has one, two, three sides. So we can circle that one. Circles have no sides. It just has curves, doesn't it? Here we have another type of triangle. It's got one, two, three sides. And then we have a rectangle. One, two, three, four sides. So following the sorting rule, the shapes with three sides are the triangles. This sorting rule says shapes with curves. Well, a triangle doesn't have curves. A circle does, so we can circle that one. Rectangles don't have curves. This little circle has curves. And squares do not have curves. They have vertices and corners, don't they? This sorting rule says shapes with four sides. A square has four sides. One, two, three, four. So we can circle that one. Circles don't have any sides. They have curves. Triangles have three sides. One, two, three. Rectangles have one, two, three, four sides. And if this rectangle has four sides, this rectangle is just turned, isn't it? It has four sides. One, two, three, four. And shapes are figures. And there are open figures and closed figures. An open figure would be like this. It would have an opening. And a closed figure would be all closed up. See that? The open figure was open and if this was a fence, animals would get out, wouldn't they? That wouldn't be a very good fence to keep animals in. If this were a fence, the animals would stay inside because it's closed. See? We can sort two-dimensional shapes by comparing how many sides they have, how many vertices, you know, corners that they have, if they have curves or not, or... We could even sort them by comparing the length of their sides. Read the sorting rule. Circle the shapes that follow the rule. Closed shapes with three sides. Okay, so they have to be closed shapes. That one's open, so we're not going to count that one. Does this have three sides? No, circles just have curves. Triangle, that has three sides and it's closed. Squares have four sides, so it's not that one. That one's open. That one has four sides. That one has three sides, and it's closed. Okay? 
This sorting rule says closed shapes with four sides. Triangles have three, so it's not the triangle. Squares have four sides, so we can circle this one. Circles don't have any sides. This was supposed to be a triangle, but look, it's open. It didn't get finished, so it's not that one. It's got to have four sides, and this only has one, two, three, and it's open. Triangles have three sides, so it's not the triangle. And the rectangle has four sides, one, two, three, four. We followed the sorting rule. Okay, here's some more. Circle the shapes that follow the rule. Only three vertices. That means only three corners, okay? So it's going to be only three corners. There's no corners here. Triangles have three corners. One, two, three. So we can circle this one. Squares have four vertices. One, two, three, four. This triangle has one, two, three. So we can circle this one. Rectangles have four vertices. One, two, three, four. Circles don't have any. And that's a rectangle, so it has four vertices. So we've followed the sorting rule and circled the shapes that follow the rule. This rule says they have to be curved. Which of these are curved? Well, we know the circle is, right? So we can circle that one. And the only other one that's curved is this little circle, isn't it? All the rest have vertices, corners. This rule says two sides are long and two sides are short. Well, circles don't have any sides, so it's not the circle. And squares have sides that are all the same length, so it's not the square. This one has a side that's long and short, but it doesn't have two long and two short sides. A rectangle has a, two long sides, one, two, and two short sides. So we can circle that one. That follows the rule. This rectangle has two long sides and two short sides, so we can circle this one. It follows the rule. Triangles only have three sides. Two sides that are long and two sides that are short makes four sides, two plus two, right? And triangles only have three sides. The square has four sides, but they're all the same length. So we followed the rule and circled the shapes that we were supposed to, okay? It says draw a two-dimensional shape that follows both parts of the sorting rule. So there's two parts to this sorting rule. It's got to have four sides and it has to have four vertices. Which shapes can we draw that will have four sides and four vertices? We can look at the other shapes that are on the board to help us. A rectangle has four sides and four vertices, doesn't it? So we could draw a rectangle. What else has four sides and four vertices? If we looked at the other shapes on the board to help us, a square has four sides and four vertices. Okay, not the best square, but you know what I was trying to do, right? How about four sides the same length and four vertices? Well, if the four sides are the same length, it wouldn't be a rectangle, would it? It would be a square. What about three sides and three vertices? If we look at the other shapes that we've had on the board, three sides and three vertices. We can look around. Look, a triangle has three vertices and it has three sides. So we could do a triangle, couldn't we? That follows the rules, follows both rules. 
Emma sorted these shapes into three groups. Choose each sorting rule she used. So here were the shapes and she made three groups. This one, this one, and this one. In her first group, she has these shapes. So which sorting rules did she use? Did she use that they only have three sides and three vertices? No, these have four sides, don't they? So she used the rule, four sides and four vertices. Are they open shapes? No, they all look closed to me. So she used closed shapes. And do you see any curves? Nope. And there's no curved shapes. So the sorting rule for the first group is they have four sides and four vertices, they're closed, and there's no curves. What about this group? Did she use three sides and three vertices? They have three sides, they have three vertices, so yes, she did use that rule. What other rule did she use? They don't have four sides. Are they open? Nope, they look closed. So she used closed shapes as part of the rule. Do they have curves? Nope, no curved shapes. So for this second group, they have three sides, they're closed, and there's no curved shapes. Now what about this group? Which rules did she use? She has four sides and three sides together. Hmm, they are closed, aren't they? None of them are open, so we know she used closed. Do any of them have curves? No, they all have vertices, don't they? They're all, they all have straight lines with corners. So the rules for this group is that they're closed shapes and no curved shapes. Okay? It wasn't these because it says only three sides. And we have some with four sides. We can't do this one because it says only four sides. See? So it was closed shapes and no curved shapes. Circle the shapes that have more than three sides. So here we've got shapes we need to circle the ones that have more than three sides. We have a rhombus. It looks like a leaning square, doesn't it? It looks like the square started leaning over. We have our square. We have a trapezoid. We have a hexagon. Hexagons have six sides. We have a triangle, a circle, and a rectangle. So which of these have more than three sides? Not just three, but more than three. Well, the rhombus has one, two, three, four. So it has more than three. And the square has four. One, two, three, four. It has more than three. It's got to have more than three. A trapezoid has one, two, three, four. So that's more than three. A hexagon has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot more than three, isn't it? The triangle does have three sides, so it doesn't have more than three sides. Circle doesn't have any side, it just has curves. And the rectangle has one, two, three, four sides. That's more than three. Okay? So we did it. We circled the shapes that have more than three sides. In our next lesson, 12.2, we're going to describe two-dimensional shapes. Can you find two-dimensional shapes around your house? Or even three-dimensional shapes? Can you look around your kitchen and see two-dimensional shapes? How about your kitchen cabinets? Are they rectangles? Or the drawers in the kitchen, are they rectangles? 
How about the tiles on your floor? Are they squares? See? See how many two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes you can find around your house. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.